Jack Wiseman is a legend of American roots music. He's about to enter the country music hall of fame. Uh, and he's also 89 years old. And his interest in music has been lifelong. It began with uh, his mother writing in a composition book, writing lyrics to songs that she heard on the radio in the 30s in rural Virginia. These are the sounds of his childhood, and now at 89, he's come back to revisit them. You're a flower that is blooming in the wildwood. A flower that is blooming there for me. Sweeter than the morning dew. I'll turn brown eyes to you. You're a flower that is blooming there for me. Well, this uh, was a book that my mother used to sit in the wintertime. She didn't have much time in the summer to work in a garden and such as that. But in the wintertime, she sat in front of the radio in her rocking chair. And most of the music back then was before the days of disc jockeys. It was live music. So she'd sit there with a little spiral notebook or one similar to this. And when they'd sing a song that she thought I might like, she'd write it down. Maybe she'd get just a verse of the chorus or a few lines. And she led back up a few days later, they'd repeat the same song. She'd get a little more, see? So I have 13 of these composition books in her handwriting. They're treasures of mine because she's no longer with us. And uh, it's a part of her being with me. And she played the old pump organ and read shaped notes and such as that so that was she was a big influence on me and she she didn't preach it or twist my arm but she encouraged me you know when it's a lamp lighting time in the valley many dreams i go back to my home i can see that old lamp in the window it will guide me wherever I roam. When Peter and Mac and I uh, started talking about this project, we agreed that what we wanted to do was to present these songs in an authentic way. And we uh, have these wonderful players, Jarrah Holland, Justin Moses, and Jimmy Capps, and Mark Fain, on this record who, who really understand that, who have a, a, a vast musical vocabulary to interpret these songs and they understand the integrity of these songs and they understand the importance of Mac as a as a singer and as an artist. Here at the here, here at the here, go to Rattler from the barn, here at the here. Mac has more institutional knowledge about American roots music than anybody alive. He's made 60 albums. He's never made one like this. The music here is, uh, is older than bluegrass. It's roots music. It's folk music. It's a postcard from a time that is long gone, sent by somebody who was there. All of these that we did in the album are documented in the songbook. It's something that I dreamed of quite a while to document, especially the songs that uh, she had written. I've recorded a number of mother songs and such as that, but uh, I'm very excited about it because I feel like it's paying tribute to her. I've recorded over 800 songs, and uh, that's a pretty good start, I think. <laughs>